How are you guys doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can get an Android emulator on your Steam Deck. And this is using SteamOS without Windows. And this should enable you to be able to play Android games, games like Asphalt and Pokemon Unite. So if that's something you guys were interested in, stay tuned to the rest of this video. At the end of the video, I'll also give you guys my impression. So stay tuned to that as well. So let's get started. So let's get started. A disclaimer before we get started. If you're using a dual boot mode process on your Steam Deck, just know that this breaks the SteamOS version of it. So I would not recommend it. I had dual boot and I've tried it twice now and it broke it both times. So again, just want to give that disclaimer. And another disclaimer is that you are going to have to use the console and write some stuff in there. So if that's not something you're comfortable with, just know that this might not be for you. So again, that out of the way, let me show you how you get this done. So I just want to give a shout out to the person who created this guide. His name is Maverns on Reddit. I'm going to post a link to his guide and his post on Reddit. So you guys can go there and, and tell him thank you as well. He took a lot of time. He answered a lot of my questions. So shout outs to you. Again, show him some love on Reddit. All right, let's really get right into this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Steam desktop and then you want to go to start. We're going to have to write a lot of commands. So let's do that real quick. So open up start and then we're going to go to console. All right. So the first command that we're going to need to enable here is the password command. Now, this is going to allow you to change your password and you're going to need it here. So would highly recommend that you put a password that you will remember. So to do that, you just enter the password command like you're seeing right here. And again, it's going to ask for me to change my password. I don't need to do this because I already have a password. For, but for you guys, if you don't have a password, you're going to enter a password here. And just to let you guys know, when you enter it, you're not going to see it to begin with. But just know that it is type in and then it's going to ask you to enter it again. Then the next step is it's going to ask you to enter this as well. Entering this code, it unlocks the OS file system. So I already have mine, so I'm not going to go through with that. So the next step in the guide, it asks you to enter three commands. So it says to fix Pac-Man keys. And I'm just going to put one here, but you're going to have to enter all three like you see in the guide. And the thing here is saying that you can skip this, but I realized when I skip this, I tend to have more issues with the emulator. So you can skip it if you want, but I would really advise you guys to not skip it. And to all these three commands, as you've seen, the sync, the carrying, the initial Pac-Man, and the setup. So make sure you enter all three. I'm just giving you guys one here because I already done this. So enter all three here in the command. So the next step is develop a package. Again, this is the command for it. And you guys are going to see in the guide, just follow through with it, add it. And then it's going to give you multiple numbers, like pick one, two, three, four, five, six. When it does this, just hit enter and go with it. Um, it looks confusing, like you actually have to push a number, but just hit enter and go with it. And then this says yes and no. If you want this to work, just hit yes and go with it. All right, so another command that's going to ask you to do is to enable more developer packages. So this is the command. Put this command in, hit enter, and then you're good to go. And then the final command is to enable Geno Motion. So once you do so, hit this command and hit enter, and you should be good to go. Now this takes a little bit, so don't freak out when it's taking some time. All right, so the next step, like you see right here, is going to ask you to download the ARM transition package here and the Aurora store. And these two things are important for this to work. And I'll tell you why. You guys will see why in a bit. So make sure you click this link to download the ARM transition and the Aurora store. And by doing so, you're good to go. So if you want to see if Genie Motion was installed successfully, just come here to the console and type in Genie Motion and it should open it like this all right so here in genie motion is really important i'm going to show you guys what you have to do so i already have mine set up but i'm going to run you guys through how to set this up so i'm just going to edit it right here and show you guys what i actually did so for the general make sure that you guys pick android fire hd8 here it's really important the guy who created this guy did a lot of research and figured out this is the best one that works for the steam deck and then make sure Android version that you pick in nine, it starts with 10. So come here, click the drop box and hit nine, and then you should be good to go. That's all you need to do here. So hit next, make sure you have the settings here like it is again, change this to six, the processor 
memory size put a 192 and then bm heat put 512 mb go to next for display pretty much done touch anything here you guys might want to do full screen but i'm telling you if you do full screen there's no way to uh, navigate the emulator because again you need the right side of it which is cut off in full screen mode so trust me when i say don't touch this just leave everything the way it is and hit next so android option leave this like it is and hit next and confirm and you should be done so once you do all of that it takes some time but then you're greeted with something like this and pretty much it's ready for you to use so all you have to do here is hit play and you'll be treated to an android emulator and as you've seen here this is the android emulator booting up but you guys are not done remember those two files that i told you guys to install all right, so you open up the emulator here. You go to files and locate where you downloaded those two things. All right, so let's go back to this part. This part is really important. I actually got stuck here, so let's open it up. And so you get here and you see all this and you're like, what am I supposed to download? You have to go to files here and you have to specifically scroll down and download this one right here on its own. So what tends to happen if you just go here go to code and go to download zip you get the zip file and if you try to bring the zip file into this emulator it's not going to work so you need that specific file right so this is the emulator opened up so you have to go to the file and this is so as you can see here this is uh the zip that i extracted do not do this download that single file and then bring that from here and drop it on here. And by doing so, it's go I already did it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But by doing so, it's going to install that to the OS and then you're gonna have to restart it, right? And then the next step after that is you're going to need to bring the Aurora store and bring it in here. And is going to install itself as well. And then the third thing you're going to need to do is open gap. So by coming here and clicking open gap, what this does is that it enables Google services. So you get the play store here as well, and then it just runs stuff better. So once you do all that, your Android emulator should be good to go. So you can use Google play store on here. As you can see right here, again, when you open this up, Google Play Store becomes available. But I realized that it's, the Aurora Store seems to be more friendly for this emulator and then seems to work better with this. So if you want to search for a game, you just hit the search icon here. And for instance, Pokemon Unite is on here, which I'll showcase here in a bit, but you can come here and you can install it i have installed so that's what you guys are seeing right here so again this is a full android emulator you can swipe up to get your app swipe down for it to go away you can add more apps and scroll right here so you can use google search there but what i want to do here is showcase some games running on this device so let's try a game like asphalt and i'll give you guys a disclaimer All right, so this is Asphalt, like you guys have seen. And the cool thing here is that this uses the controllers. And yeah, you don't have to set anything up. Games that support controllers work instantly and automatically. You can go to, um, you can use this in Steam OS, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. So if a game does not support controller, you can actually map it out uh, with the Steam, Steam controller uh, controller inputs. But again, games that don't support controller, you can't do that at all. But this is as for running and it uses the Steam Deck controller right away. But this being Android, if I want to exit, I just hit the home button. I push the square button and I can close the app again. This is full fledged Android running here. Let me showcase another game, Pokemon Unite running on this. All right, so as you can see here, this is Pokemon Unite running on this emulator on the Steam Deck. So this game, it doesn't support controllers, so you'll need to use the on-screen keyboard, as you've seen here. But it does run pretty well here. 
it's very smooth hardly any lag or latency but yeah if you guys were looking for a way to play pokemon unite and other android games this works really well on here as well this game's a lot of fun if you guys haven't played it yet i just started playing this and i'm actually pretty impressed by how well it runs on this device and what a decent game this actually is now i want to show you guys how you can add this to steam os so open up your steam here go to add a game go to non-steam game and i already have it added but for you guys it's going to be right here so once you do that return to game mode all right and it's going to be right here and i'm going to hit play it's going to bring you into launcher and through here you should be able to just hit it the play button here and you should be able to boot right in steam os you guys might ask why would you want to use this in steam os because now you got this fun stuff to play around with and then it has a uh, controller input here for games that don't support controllers you can come there and you can use it but yeah this is it running on steam os guys all right so other things that i do want to mention with the aurora star why i said use this over the google play store it's because you can come here and you can set spoof. So what spoof is, is it gives you an option to pick other phones that uh, might not support. So I have my phone set to one X and by doing so, this gives me the option to be able to run more games. Now, when I didn't have this set and I was going through the play store, I wasn't able to get games like Pokemon Unite and other games. So come here, select it, hit the checkbox, and you're good to go. And again, this is why I prefer the Aurora store over the Play Store because you do get more options to choose from. All right, so my final verdict, do I recommend this? I would say if you really want to play Android games, yes, uh, there's a lot to choose from here. But I do have to tell you guys, this is missing a lot of big games. Games like Genshin Impact, you can't play here. Games like Call of Duty, you can't play on here. But they do have selection of games like Pokemon Unite that you can play here. Minecraft, you can play on here. But yeah, just know that there's going to be limitations. This emulation doesn't get all of the Google Play games, but it does get a lot of it. So again, I'll let you guys decide whether this is something for you or not. But just want to showcase how you actually get this on your Steam Deck using SteamOS without needing Windows. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.